What up, everybody? As you can see, we are back with the new episode of Kitchen Talk. We have a new cast, new venue, but we have the same great conversation. So, well, I don't know why this man is laughing already. Um, but for all of you, though, for all of you who are new to Kitchen Talk, Kitchen Talk is an informal discussion amongst us peers where we come together and we talk about a wide variety of topics, the same conversations you have with your friends, relationships, music, sex, education, government. We come here and we talk about it all. We laugh, we joke, we do everything, all right? Um, y'all already know me. If y'all don't know me, my name is Sean Scott, but my, my mom, she named me Handsome. So everybody out there, you can call me Sean Scott, but my mom named me Handsome, you know, uh, we can start over here to my left. Go ahead, brother. Good looking, brother. Thank you, sir. Thank uh, you. Mike, um, we back, I guess. Well, no, this new, so yeah. we not back. Yeah, we not back, um, yeah. Brand new. Brand new. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, uh, I'm Mike. I don't really have a big intro. I don't, there's not much about me. Um, I'm Mike. <laughs> we got that. All right, hello everyone. I am Jess Niche. I am the owner and creative direct director of Christian Talk Apparel, and I am the author of Confessions of a Crack Baby, coming soon. And uh, yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> On to me. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad to be back. I am Ashton. I have missed you all. As y'all know, I am the creator and owner and all that good stuff of Vintage 88 Nostalgic Apparel. And we are back. Ready to get into it. So, y'all see the cast. As I said, we are also in a new venue. We are at the Hot Box Bistro here in Toledo, Ohio. That's 332 North Erie Street, Toledo, Ohio. And we have been graced by our wonderful chef, Keitha. Keitha, bring your cell phone in. Yeah. She done cooked us some food. I did. Exciting. So, Keitha, if you could, you know, just tell the people who you are, a little bit of your story, as well as, you know, what you got going on with the Hot Box Bistro, and what you cook for us, please. I will. So, as he said, I'm Keitha Shears, um, and I'm the owner and chef here at the Hot Box Bistro. Right now, our address is 332 North Erie Street, but our new location coming soon is 1919 Monroe Street. So, we will be moving in about three weeks, so that's exciting. But uh, I've been located here for about six years, but we've been open for three. Um, I also am a culinary arts teacher at Owens Community College, and I just enjoy everything about cooking. Thank you for having me. And, and yeah. what, what you cook us? What, so, what we finna um, eat? It was a little bit of a change of plans. I usually take your order, but today I just created a, a trio, I guess. So I did a little baked potato, Ooh. I did lamb chops, and I did a um, Cajun pasta with lobster on top. Keith, let me just say, you speak in my language, great. First you hit me with the, the potatoes, the loaded potatoes. Then you said lamb chops, and I, you, you didn't nice. see though, but both of them at the same time, nice. went like that. Then you nice. said the pasta. Well, no, last time, you know, y'all all wanted to, Yeah. y'all was confused about what y'all wanted, yeah. so I figured out. Well, they they were confused. Yeah. <laughs> because I just because, because food is a love language. Yes. Yes. It's one of mine, it really is. Yeah. And her gumbo yeah. is back, it's fine, y'all. So, after a delicious meal, you know, we can you know, get down to the discussion if y'all want to. And this discussion is gonna, you know, ear to the women, you know, of the panel. <laughs> so, um, the topic series that we're starting now is music's effect on culture. And uh, what we're gonna aim towards, you know, you know, female rappers are very prominent in today's music. You know, got your Cardi B's, your Megs, you know, who else? You got uh, Nicki. You know, oh, Sweetie, oh, Doja, you know, all, all the female rappers who have now emerged, 
you know, and a lot of them are talking about sex and throwing that pussy. Forgot city girls. You know, oh, forgot the city girls too, you know. <laughs> forgot the city girls. But wait a second though, Mike, Mike said vulgar, so like, I just want to, I mean, so what's the difference between what they're talking about and what's- Hold on, can I enter, can I enter I'm just the saying, I'm like, I just, hold on, hold on. I had to, okay, we had to put a pin in that though. I am ready. Listen, listen, listen. I mean, cause he jumped out the gate with it though. Vulgar, I'm like, I had that. Listen, so now, now piggybacking off of Mike was talking about, right? And he's talking about women being vulgar in their music. So is that more or so less Lifestyle. women empowerment? Nope. Or is it advocating for ratchet female, throw that pussy, rub it in it, coat like, what, what is it? <laughs> can I, can I, can I, uh, if it? Is it women's empowerment or advocating for ratchet culture? Which is it, bro? I mean, I was split at 70 30. 70 30, say, which way? 70 30 ratchet, ratchet activity. 70% and then 30% empowerment. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll give them they play. They've been trying to get this shit off for years <laughs> unsuccessfully. Unsuccessfully? Man. They've been trying to get this shit off forever. No, because you got the Kayas and the Trinas and, and, and the Lil' Kim, yeah, yeah, yeah. Foxy Brown. Thank Facts. you. Yeah, Thank you. They, they were all black sheep, though. We talking about a flock of motherfuckers now. We talking about this is the thing. This is normal. This is this natural. Mm -hmm. This is the culture. Now they just uh, you slide your pussy on his face type. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and we cool with that. But what's so different though than than them fly saying what the hell he's saying? Ah, I mean, the double the standards do exist for a reason. Okay, please I elaborate. Double standards. Please. I do. I, Why? I, I believe in double standards. That is a thing. So it's when okay. They, what? Okay, no, uh, uh, I said, so, no, so, so the double said he said, no, so it's not okay no. for me to say I want to do whatever. I can, I can publicly say I want to do whatever I want to do to you, but it's you, you feel Park that, big that I should right in like because it's only like a, a man should be the only one to be able to do that. I'm, I'm confused. Okay, like so why? Why is there a double standard? Why is it okay? Gonna, because you go, want it regardless. We're gonna go from the, we're gonna go from the, from the whether she standpoint. initiated go, or he do. We're right. gonna go from the social standpoint, socially. Women are held to a higher regard. They were, I think, at some ain't point. No yeah. Ain't no worse. It's, still, I, I it's, feel still, like... it's still happening. It's definitely still happening. Man. Socially, women are held to a higher regard. That's the only reason we're having this conversation. It's the only reason we're talking about this is because women are supposed to be soft and feminine. And... Not necessarily soft and feminine. Women are supposed to be mysterious to an extent. Mm. That shit did. Mm. I could, I could. For some, though, because I, I, I have to say, I could, I could spin the block and see. And it's not even nice out. I could split in the block and see ass cheeks. I could right just pop in now. and see some ass cheeks. Facts. I'm just saying, like, <coughs> like, from a social standpoint, women are held at a higher work, or in my opinion, supposed to be held at a higher regard. Like, y'all supposed to be better than us. Visibly. To, to let the mind wander a little bit, like. But what they got to do with music? Everything. The, the. The music, what part of your day involves music? 90 percent. Yes. I said 90 percent. Most, most, of, your day, most of your day involves music. Therefore, a significant part of your influence subconsciously comes from something melodic. Okay. Or something verbal, some type of. But you know what I'm saying? They they talking that shit, and now it's in your head. Now you have a warped interaction with females because you've been listening to all these no, no. but I, but I, like, no. No. All these hood I think around. you're definitely reaching no. because I think it's a personal preference mm -hmm. no. all types so, of reaching I'm not, I do. I'm not I'm not I'm a fan of Cardi not so much her music but I like who she is as a person I like that she just herself period um but as a city girls come on my Pandora or whatever I'm skipping it it's just that's just not my thing mm -hmm. but then there's some making stuff. I'm like, oh, play that shit, turn that up. That's my shit. But I don't know. It's, it's just a catchy thing, not because that's what I envision my life to be. Like, I want to be out here, coochie out, ass out, titties out, just because they say it's okay. Okay, but so just you're not it's the majority, a, though. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, that, that's exactly yeah. what I'm saying. You're you're the minority in this in this specific subject because right now the majority. Want they ass out, they listen to the city girls, and everything is period. Period. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a, an age range of mm -hmm. women who may, but that's that's a minority. Okay. Eight, okay, high school to 
28. Uh, I'll say even. I'll, I'll, say, I'll even say 30 because okay, so I have four sisters. We drove to we drove to where did we Birch Run. They didn't like my playlist, but when they switched their place, it was City Girls. It was just stuff, and it just mm-hmm. made me. I, I would have like, died. I said, "This is what y'all listen to." Like, I wanna, I I, it was out. miserable. So <laughs> I mean, and she's 30. Well, one is 26 and one is 30. So I would say 18 to 30. For. But you know what? Okay, so another. Because I was maybe uncomfortable. This, and maybe this just I'm might 32 be, though, so. Maybe this just might be my observational quirk. But again, when it comes to like standards, how. Remember how all, it was just to do like women used to act their age. Whatever age they were, they fit into that age demographic for the, for the, for the most, most part. part. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll give you that. Now we're turning into a spot where the women are. Uh, 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 piggybacking off of the men again and now trying to be younger than what they actually are. So they're trying to fit into that age demographic right below. So now you got 40 year old women trying to, you know, do the shit that they was doing when they was 29, you know what I'm saying? Living how they was just just a little wilder. A mm. little wilder. You got, you got, women aren't acting the same, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's, I hate to compare then and now because shit change yeah. and I understand that I'm all for change and I'm not gonna say it's not progressive but it's different I'm about to say the change I don't I think that's the issue with women as far as the change goes women in their 40s and it's this whole stigma on you got to act your age I think it's just women now are tapping into who they are and they don't have to put on for society or for the social norms that you speak of and I'm for it I'm for women um being comfortable in their skin and doing what's best for them as opposed to doing what's best for everyone else like I'm seeing that more women just kind of you know letting their hair down a little bit I'm I'm sexy I'm a woman I'm a mom but I'm a woman too at the end of the day like and I also agree with that I agree with that and uh, I just some I, are I more like, extreme. I feel like, but I feel like with that, with that happening, with that happening, that it's a, it's a, it's a burden on the psyche. If if I've been knowing you for fifteen years, and for the last ten, you were a certain way, and then you decided to let your hair down and stop living for other people and do, that's all fine, and I'm for that. But you then can't fault me for saying. Damn, you changed. Like, isn't I, she supposed? I, what, 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 I, what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing is not who you have been, right? And there's nothing wrong. But with maybe that. that is who she has had. Well, what, what, if like, you put, well, that's what I'm saying. If you're putting on for other people, I for would. society, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to wear this one face in public, but it's not who you really are. You know what I'm saying? Your work voice all day, whatever. You know. If I've been knowing you for, like that for the past majority of our interactionship, however long the relationship has been, whatever we, and then in the last couple of years, you get to actually be yourself. Like I said, I don't fault that. I'm not against it, but you also can't fault anybody who's questioning because they don't know you like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's what I'm saying is, is happening. In the in the grand scheme, like in the bigger picture, where everybody, you know, what I'm saying, yeah, let your hair down, be who you are. That's cool, but you also can't scream, you know, what I'm saying, discrimination or 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 oh, y'all treat me so bad, this, this, and that, because people aren't used to you being this way. You know, what I'm saying, like that, everybody viewing this change, everybody going through this shit at the same time. I got to take you for who you are, right? Because now you're letting me see who you are. Why can't I be a little taking it back? <laughs> uh, See, personally, though, I think that it really just depends on. I mean, because we're talking about really its effect on women <clears throat> and their behavior, having been influenced by music. this type of music. Yeah. But really, for me, I think that it just depends on like where a woman is, like in her life. Yeah. You know, like what stage she's she's in, and I can really only speak for me. Um, I mean, for one, that type of music has never really been my thing. Um, you know, Nisha know, I'm old yeah, school we, R&B, like, yeah, we take it back. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but I can appreciate that type of music when I'm in that mood, but I, I still feel like 
at least for me, like my core values still kind of yeah. kind of reign. You know what I'm saying? I like think that it's a generation thing too. I think the generations after us. <laughs> I think the music has a greater effect on <laughs> than. But I mean, our parents could have said the same thing, though, know, because like I, I listen to Ying Yang Twins now, and I'm like, damn, like, was he really saying that? Yeah, right. yeah. Right. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? Right. I would be like, I definitely don't want my daughter to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Now you like, he said that. You know, that was some good bullshit. But once you once you listen back, you like, dang, we was fried for real. Our parents no, listen. But, but we weren't fried for real. We didn't even know. No, we didn't know because yeah. we weren't listening to the it. lyrics. We yeah. weren't listening. exactly. We weren't listening it was just to the back then. It was like, damn, damn, this song hit the. But I think what it was though. <laughs> It's but wait, wait, wait. Yeah. What I think it was though, like, so we, we just had the music though, just the pure, just music we're listening to. This generation has the visuals. Not only do you got the videos, but you got, you, you can follow them, being their personal lives on mm-hmm. Instagram when they shaking their ass to this, this, or that, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So it becomes a lifestyle that they want to tap into, you yeah. know what I'm saying? When for me, I'm still like, very I much. Yeah, I think like I want the knees like Megan. Mm-hmm. Them go together. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know them was a good but combination I, like that. But, but I feel like, Megan, you know, I'm still very much the, the lady in the streets kind of mentality. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, Because that's just, I don't know. It's just more, I like the mysterious. Yeah, and like, I feel like it's, I a, it's a level of class her. with that, though, too. I and I just know her outside. I know that that's what it is for me. And well, I like transforming. Like, what's that? Well, it's, it's funny y'all say that though, because that's a that's a upper, that's a uh, that's that's, that's, that, that's the next age demographic up too. Because mm-hmm. you get with a 25, 26, motherfucker, mysterious. But you know what? No, no, no. Like even for me though, at twenty five, I feel like it was the same way though. Because your twenty five was different. From see, my twenty five, I was in mom. Agreed. So I was just Agreed. I was in point taken. Really point taken. Yeah. Sustain. <laughs> <laughs> Our 25 ain't they 25 though? Cause it, but I feel like even at our 25 though, you still had the ones that was like, acting like the ones we're talking about now. You know what I'm saying? But it was still, it was still a little, it was still, you know what I'm saying, like a little cool. Like this shit was just being ushered in mm-hmm. on our 25 yeah. you know, a few years ago. As to now, if I don't know everything about you. Well, I, I would only assume. I was about to say, I actually don't know none of this shit, but I would try to put myself in a younger kid, like like a younger adult situation. If Why, why would I even waste my time trying to get to know? Like, if your mm-hmm. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, yeah. like, if it don't tell me what I need to know, and then... I mean, but it's social like, media. Uh, why would it... I can hit you. I can hit you right now. Everything I do... It's instant. I don't need your number. I can go I can find out about you right now. I can shoot you a message. It's coming straight to the same phone that text would. Mm-hmm. I don't need that. I don't need that. Need that number. You don't, you don't have to. You don't have no to give that shit. same energy though. Unfortunately though. Shit. It's hit yeah, different what? when a man be like, "Can I have your number?" Versus hit me in my inbox. Like it's different when you just different. messaging me back and forth. But it, it's personal when you be like, mm-hmm. "Can I have your number?" Yeah, yeah. Here's I agree. Here you go. What was it like? It, this is about convenience. I seen you this picture. Oh, I like a double tap. Mike, it really doesn't apply to you though, because you're in the whole relationship. <laughs> All right, he just, so he I feel like he he to to I'm, allowed, I'm allowed to think. I'm he allowed, allowed, he out of touch a little bit. Am I, now I may be out of touch with the actual day to day banter, but I'm still like I'm. She's not the only woman I see. Like I still have like I still you have love eyes. women. Like the essence of women, and I still I still like get into just femininity like that's my shit yeah, that's still. my shit too even period even with my life <laughs> you know what i'm saying Lord to death but uh, you're not going to i'm not i'm not listen if it's a what was that you about to say you're not going what i really i really want to know what it is i was about to say i'm not i'm not about to not see some shit going on i'm saying if it's a fat ass right here and it's I'm just looking, talking, like, and it's just know. wiggling you're not gonna catch me like Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, nigga, I'm th- oh, okay. That, yeah, I'm no, it's happening. Right yeah. like, oh, that's shit. happening. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Squat that. dad proper. Okay, she left. <laughs> she lunged. Little yoga over there. She lunged a little bit. And little if she lesson. with me, I'm going to tell Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Same, though. No, I mean, for, first of all, though, I mean, as women, though, like, we see... Yeah. A nice looking. I'm like, damn, she's pretty. Or I'm like, damn, her ass is big. You know what I'm saying? Whatever damn, the case may be. But that's just like in general, though. I can't be like, damn, dude, baby, 
Bro, that yes. has nothing to do with double. <laughs> that's that's a sexual preference. That is that's sexual a, preference. So all women, so all women like women then? No. Then how the fuck is you gonna tell me that that is sexual preference, nigga? If she just said how many, said, bro? I, you and I can't say. Hey, that, 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 that's a good looking dude. Cause we would in the first place. That's what. I, that's that's what a double standard is. She can do that and it's acceptable. We are I mean, raised but, not to do that but, shit. It's not that that has nothing to do with being raised. It's not I'm just acceptable. not going to do it. Because that's what you I've never been told, hey, if I see a man, I'm just not going to tell that's, you, yo, my man's like, no, it has nothing to be raised. That that's just still, something I'm just not consciously. You. You no, it wasn't. What? I my my father and my mother did not sit me down and tell me, hey, you are not supposed to say that they to a man. They didn't sit you down and say that you're not supposed to say it to a man, but your father's actions showed you that you're not supposed to be around here telling dudes they cute. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I'm that like, I'm about to, I feel like Mike got a point though. I feel like that socially he though, has that a has a point. He has a point, but that just <laughs> you got a point. You got you got a point, but I'm just That's talking about the. Right I'm, well, I'm, you got a point, but I'm talking about being sat down and being told like, bro. No, there's something that that's you're not no supposed no, to do. Tron. Like, that's, no, no. that's just, even when I was a boy, <laughs> I never looked at men and was like, yo. As you shouldn't. That's what I'm saying. But it's not something that was taught. It's just naturally in me to not be attracted to to a man to even want to say that. That's how you were raised. Son. But just because I'm like, oh, she's pretty or oh, you sis think- shape is banging on me and I'm attracted to her. It's, I mean, but I y'all, think, but I feel like a man could. Y'all could, get to be gay a bit. We don't get y'all to be gay. Y'all get to be a little gay. Well, Every woman is a little like all women half gay. Half gay? I'm not half, half gay. Half? Ten percent. Uh, Wait a okay, second. Okay, thirty-five. But we go. Okay, okay. We're being realistic. Because because we can see another Re- woman and appreciate. Realistically, realistically, all women I feel. Because even when I dated a girl, I wasn't gay. It was just something to do. <laughs> just because I was just like I want to see see if I got it. If I yeah, have it yeah. both ways, like, and yeah. I could. But wait a second, though. Like, why, why 30%? I, I just be crying. I say 25. Huh? Why? I'm going to say 25. 25. I'm gonna say 25. I think every woman is curious. I'm going to say 35, yeah. guys. I think every woman is curious. I was just to see. Curious. That was I think me, every and it was the worst woman is I've ever curious. Made in my life. But I was curious just to see. I mean, yes, let me just see if I can. It's just to see. Because I just know I got it like that, so let me just see. Sidebar. Just to see. Sidebar. And I had it like With you dealing with a woman, right? Okay. Not now. Let's that, that, okay, not now. I mean, she said, "Let's I, clear." Clearly, clearly. You, you, right you <laughs> had that experience, so now you can. I can speak to both sides. You can speak to both. Okay, so dealing with that female, did you at any point, um, like just just think back and reflect on that, and then want to maybe not apologize, but rationalize? Interactions with um, males in the past dealing with you? No. Mm, so like, I think it made me more conscious of, because women, we are emotional beings. So, one thing I took away from it is like, dang, I got somebody who can actually sit down and communicate how she feel, and I can communicate how I feel. So, now I find myself looking for, like, dang, I think for a while was the expectation was, damn, she was able to tell me how she feel, but nigga, now you can't. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that's unrealistic, because some men aren't communicators like that. So I think the experience, she wanted to be a nigga, so the experience honestly was no different than oh, so my dealing with a my, yeah, my dealing with a man. Never. The only thing that was dif- the different was it was just a female. Like she was overly emotional. I want to beat her ass all the time. Like it was not working. <laughs> and other than that, like I don't want that's too much emotion. But that's what y'all do. Too much emotion. Like But that's what y'all do. So 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 you felt like that about her. That's said I ever had, but you, you felt like that about her, hmm. but so you I'll ask you, you later. Are, I want to know. You, you feel like you feel like that about hmm. her because because I've heard that too. But with I had a question. Yeah. I wanted to know if she did. Do, do you not feel like hmm. whatever dude you deal with feel like that about you? Like that I'm over emotional. Just the feelings you had towards that towards woman, her. You feel, do you mm-hmm. feel like? Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe dude wasn't tripping. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. That now nah, I'm like, dang, I'd be tripping a little bit. I was thinking about that earlier. Like, dang, I'd be fried. Just <laughs> now, nah, but so I, no, just think, I just think all vagina owners like just because just I be doing like, stuff out of vagina owners. I be doing stuff off? for dramatic yeah, effect. Man. Why? I be doing stuff for dramatic effect. I just realized that yesterday I did something. I was like, dang, I be I had no re- reason to do that. That's just because I be wanting somebody to react a certain way. 
Attention seeking behavior. Att- yeah. Just because, like, I'm in my feelings, now I want you to be in your feelings, and then I want oh. you to coddle me. God, but see, I hate I, that, bro. You know what, though? Like, this, I just had a flashback. Like, it didn't like, work. Bro. You know what, though? Yeah, I don't know. And, and when it doesn't work, it didn't work. And, and then when it doesn't so work. So then we have to have a conversation like, Daddy, you should don't do this shit, but push me away. Just say how the fuck you feel. I'm a literal person. Tell me this is bothering you See, and I why. Feel like even, I feel like even what you was doing, though, that was just too much work, too much energy what? to. Oh. Like, just to not just be direct and just to be like, well, I'm going to do this, expecting him or her to do this or yeah. what hurt him. Because yeah. now I'm just putting it back. Even as men, out. knowing you are doing that certain behavior, and I know she's doing this just to see what the fuck I'm going to do, it's still going to piss me the fuck off. Yeah. I don't have the energy to do bro, that stuff, that though. That right there. That's exactly what I... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I feel okay, like maybe no, I've been single okay, too long, okay, though, because I don't have the energy to do none of that stuff, out. though. But I'm spoiled a little bit, so I be. But now I'm trying to grow. I'm I'm too old for that shit. My lady is spoiled, and I, 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 I can't keep doing that. that shit. Yeah, see, y'all just enable it. But we have more of an understanding, I think, than most. You know what I'm saying? Because when she, of course, she tries. Like I said, on the vagina, a little off. Just do shit. Because y'all care. Just do shit, because you know you can get it off, and it's like. Go for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, hey, we not. I don't. I don't argue. That little voice is like, do it, sis. I don't argue. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Hey, ho- ho- hoodie, hoodie Kermit, could yeah. be all in your ear. We yeah. say, go, go for it. And, get him, sis. And I'm gonna be right there with it's you. It's been like, six oh, months. Go get him, sis. <laughs> You're not about to get this reaction, and you are gonna be even more mad. And then I'm not mad. Shit, I ain't getting no reaction. Again, I was I dry. Like, like, all right, energy, when you when you feel be better. In. Yeah, no, yeah, I'll let me when you can articulate what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to circle this back around, back to the original topic. Maybe I'm just a different type of nigga, right? But I encourage women to do this music. I love it. Do you? Because I'm a hypocrite. I'm on both sides. I, no, 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 no. no. Like, I, I'm a hypocrite. I'm, no, no, no. I'm, I, I, I'm like, I, 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 listen. It's I, because it's entertaining? I, it's, it's, not, it, it's not even entertaining, right? So that type of music is for one type of setting. One type of setting and one type of setting are sex. No, 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 no not that, sex. That, like clubs. Clubs, yeah. right? That music is for one and that's why type I always of go setting. to R&B only because right. Well, see, I like <laughs> so, it. in that setting what he's saying. I'm for it. Turn that shit up. So now <laughs> in this setting, in this setting, and yeah. we just gonna keep it a stack. When you go out, what are we going out for? Back. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that gives me the visual of but what the fuck I'm going for. That is an antiquated thought process. It used to be just for one setting. It spilled outside. Now it's everywhere. But the music itself, it's still for that setting. It was created. It's rooted in that setting. It is now everywhere but for everything. But it's still for that. No, bro. I just seen an AT&T commercial on some, on some Cardi B Meg shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, like the global influence is now not just because... At that time, it used to be, oh, we going out for that because you know we getting this when we get here. That was the turn up, boom. We go to the club, that's that setting. You know that shit going to be there. Now, for us. Now you go to a motherfucking birthday party. Hmm. You're I getting mean, that. Rap music is pop culture, so everybody's initially just going to play it. That's what I'm saying. It spilled outside. But it's still, but it's still made for the party setting, it's though, bro. It's rooted in that. that that's, so that's, if you're going to a birthday party, what's you going to a birthday party? Kick it. So fuck it. Yeah, you can put that on, bro. Six-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> you got a point. Because it's for the adults at that point. Yeah. All right. I, I haven't been to a six-year-old birthday party with it played. Uh, you know, that's just me personally. I'm just saying, like that's what happened. Now, Man, you for, might get that. Everything is for. <laughs> I mean, because everything is for adults anyway. I'm about, that's a whole different category. I'm about to say, I'm not even gonna get into that. How yeah. they should stop letting adults make kids shit. But. I mean, well, who else gonna make it? Kids, nigga, like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, I was like, well, wait. All the symbolism and all the other shit that good pours into kids. Movies and shit like it's that. It's so funny you say that though. Like ah. off subject though, I was I literally turned on the Batman cartoon, and at one part in the cartoon, homegirls told the dude, like, what she say, like you're you're a good guy and you're great in the sack. And I said, <laughs> 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 
hey, adult. This was a Batman it. cartoon, like Batman Joker. Well, like I cried too. That's why I never. But wasn't did you hear what I said though? She time. said yeah. you're great in the sack and whatever other attribute he had. She and I was like, it. that cartoon did. <laughs> but even, but then though, but then I'm like looking at the cartoon though, like you know the girls got the short skirts on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. all of that. It's always been that way. Yeah. But I couldn't believe it was so explicit like that though. Yeah. Yeah, I get that's another like a kid would know what that meant, but that's another comment. Yeah, no, that's, 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 that's another comment. No, that threw me. Right? That threw me. So, for those of you at home who are watching, I know y'all be having these conversations and had them already. How do y'all feel? Let us know in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You know, go ahead and follow our YouTube channel, youtube.com/slash Reflections TV. And we appreciate y'all. And we out. Yeah.